Excuse me. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I brought a special guest to help me introduce today's video. This is White Christmas Bear, I love him, he's so cute. And I brought him because I'm going to be talking about Ice Cream Nails and their new collection, the Faux Fur Collection. So I wanted to bring White Christmas Bear on because he wanted to say hi. Okay, I'm gonna go put him away because I don't want anyone dirty with my makeup. Oh, and before we get started, I wanna show you guys my new t-shirt from my merch line. It says, choose to bow, you know, Juicy Couture vibes. I love it so much, and of course my logo. I just wanted to show you guys it because it's probably gonna be out of frame for the rest of the video. So like I mentioned, I'm going to be talking about Ice Cream Nails Faux Fur Collection. It has four polishes. I love the collection so much. All of the shades remind me of teddy bears, stuffed animals, and it's so adorable. You guys know I love Ice Cream Nails, an Australian nail polish company, and their nail polish bottles look like little ice cream cones, the cutest thing in the world. So I can't wait to talk about these shades. And Ice Cream Nails also sent me their matte top coat. It's called Frostbitten. I also painted this on all of the cream shades in this collection as well. So you can see what the shades look like, both glossy and also with a matte top coat. I love how detailed Ice Cream Nails is with the packaging of their nail polishes. This is what the packaging of the Faux Fur Collection nail polishes look like. It's a pink box and then it has Faux Fur Collection written in a foil and it's so so cute. This is just the packaging of their standard nail polishes. So they do change up the packaging when it is like a limited collection. I love it. Here's the quick swatches that I did for reference of all the shades. And I created these little nail stencils for every single nail polish in my collection. I'll just quickly talk about the materials that I used for these. I talked about them briefly in my nail polish collection video. I will link that above in the cards and also down below. But the materials that I used to create these little nail swatches of every single nail polish color in my collection are these products. I got everything off of Amazon. This is the little label maker. You can use this to create so many labels for everything. I just use it for my nail swatches and it can print out different sizes depending on the little labels and the ones that I use is the clear stickers as you can see right here it doesn't have like the white sticker with the black writing on top it's just basically clear and then also the little nail stencils I got them on Amazon as well I think it's like a pack of a hundred for like six bucks or something so if you have a lot of nail polishes or you just want to be more organized with your nail colors to know what colors you have and what it would look like on your nails you can just buy all these things on Amazon and it's really helpful so literally you can just take like a little stencil and be like what's that color gonna look like on my skin tone and just go like that so it's so helpful and that's what I did for the nail colors for this collection so I'm going to start out with the color that's on my nails right now and it's the metallic one in the collection this one is called plush and it's so cute so looking at the bottle it kind of has some shimmers inside but it's not glittery it paints down like a metallic shade and you can see right here on camera it's very reflective and once it gets inside the sunlight it's so stunning I love this color so much it's kind of like a cross between a rose and a rose gold and it's really really cute I love this one. This is the only shade that I did not paint the matte top coat on top of, but this is what plush looks like. It's two coats, so pretty on my nails. I love it so much. So if you do love these kind of metallic shades, definitely check this one out. So the other three polishes in the collection are all nude shades. There's a light, there's a medium, and then there's a dark. I'll talk about the light one first. And this is the light one. It's called Fluff Ball. This is so adorable on my nails. When I first started getting into nail polishes, I was addicted to nude colors. And I have so many nude polishes. This is a really nice light nude shade. It is really nice on my skin tone. I also paint this with the matte top coat from Ice Cream Nails. And I think it looks nice both ways, whether you prefer glossy nails or you prefer matte nails and this one was so cute so if you do love light nude shades this is definitely going to be one you want to pick up i love the name alone fluff ball so cute the next nude shade in the collection is this one right here and this is like the medium tone nude this one is called honey bear i absolutely love the name you guys can see from the swatch pictures of this color i wanted to take it with some sort of bear all of my stuffed animals were too big to fit inside the frame of a picture and i found my little mosquito iphone case so I used that to take a picture because it kind of looked similar and it was really cute. But I love this color. I feel like this is probably going to be the most flattering and closest to my natural skin tone. So this probably would be my everyday go-to nude shade. I don't want to use it that much because it is a limited edition. And because of the name alone, Honey Bear, I won't be able to get it again because it is a limited collection from Ice Cream Nails. But it's gorgeous. I love it glossy. I love it with the matte top coat. So if you love nude shades, medium toned nude shades, this one is so pretty. And then the last nude shade from the collection is the darkest one, and this one's called Fuzzy Wuzzy. The name is so adorable. I love this one. I feel like I would wear more of this kind of nude shade in the fall and winter time. So pretty. Definitely was really nice 
with the matte top coat on as well. So if you do love brown nude shades, Fuzzy Wuzzy is so adorable. The Frost Bitten Matte Top Coat from Ice Cream Nails was really easy for me to work with. Usually when I paint my nails with a matte top coat, none of them really work out because they either dry down and show my brush strokes or I have to go in with so many coats that it's literally so thick on my nails. But this one from Ice Cream Nails, one coat literally made the whole entire nail went from glossy to matte and the way I did it is I actually took my pictures with my normal top coat on which is right here. I used the gel setter from Essie and this is the top coat that I use for primarily all of my nail colors and what I did is I took my pictures with the glossy nail top coat first and then I went on top and painted the matte top coat on top of my regular top coat and that literally just transformed them from glossy to matte in a matter of seconds. It dried so fast and then I was able to take my pictures of all of the matte top coats but so cute. I love this top coat from Ice Cream Nails. All right, everybody, and that's my review on the Faux Fur Collection from Ice Cream Nails. I absolutely am obsessed with this collection. I love that they did a collection inspired from teddy bears and just stuffed animals. You know, that's my favorite thing in the whole entire world, and I love every single color. I love that it's basically nude shades, and they also gave you that metallic shade as well. So definitely check out this collection. I will leave Ice Cream Nails information down below, their Instagram and their website. Make sure you also check out the Frost Bitten Matte Top Coat from Ice Cream Nails if matte nails are your thing because I feel like this formula is so awesome and it works really nice. Thank you guys again so much for watching this review. Ice cream nails. You guys know I'm obsessed with you. Can't wait to play with more colors. Make sure you guys subscribe on your way out and join the Sabah fam and I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye. Excuse me.